Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a special tarot reading session for you Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. This is for the Sagittarius friends out there. What is the message for Sagittarius please? What can I get for Sagittarius, okay? This reading for today, Sag, is will your person of interest reach out? What is their message? What can I get for Sag, please? Okay. Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oops, jumper. And um, guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button in the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel. Check out the description box below because in there, you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. And then check out my online store, the Setting Manifestation Candles in California Sag. Uh, they are free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free tarot reading session for me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you with your free private reading, okay? In today's reading, Sag, I will be delivering or uh, there's... Four parts of the reading. The first part is that Sagittarius is dealing with Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The second part is that um, Sagittarius friends is dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The third part is that if you are a Sagittarius is dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the last part is if you are a Sagittarius and you're dealing with your fellow fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, that is the last part of the reading. So let me just ground my energy. What can I get for Sag? What is the message for Sag? Will their person of interest reach out within the next three to six weeks? What is the message, please? Okay. So if we're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Venus, you've got a Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Tower card, Nine of Swords. Um, it's It will get to a point of feeling worst, feeling lost feeling like they could not reach you or retrieve you um but you will get to a point a talking point again nine of pentacles they're gonna break their silence nine of swords they want to end overthinking they want to end overthinking they want to end the agony the pain the the feeling of being distanced with you and they want to safeguard whatever you build in the past so they will reach out uh, it's drastic like the way you separated with this person is crazy it was messed up for some of you it was ghosting but they regret every every cause of pain or hurt that they cause you they will break their silence because they are th this person Sagittarius if you're dealing with Capricorn Taurus Virgo they are aware that the only way to fix it is to face you to call you to text you so they will end their agony they will end the confusion and reach out okay then um the second reading is if you are dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius sun moon and venus you've got the ten of cups in reverse the hangman in reverse the five of wands um this person sag they're not happy that you guys fight break up separated disconnected i mean they are avoiding you. They're not calling you. They're not texting you. Or they are aloof with you. They're not in the mood with you. Um, the, the, uh, the hangman is in reverse. They are releasing you because they don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They don't want anything from you for the meantime. Okay. I'm seeing around the month of May. Um, things are going to be okay. Things are more settled to compromise, to forget and forgive. But between now up until the next three to six weeks they are gonna be avoiding you because for them you and them clash or you don't click in a specific subject that you talk to or some misalignment misconception okay and then the third reading Sagittarius this is if you are dealing with a water sign Cancer Scorpio Pisces Sun Moon and Venus you've got the six of pentacles the sun card in reverse the page of swords they'll definitely message you but be um, be ready, be prepared. They will message you and they will let you know exactly why, um, exactly the feelings. Okay. This person will vent. <laughs> they will, they will complain. They will express to you all of the negative, like they will drain all of the, um, 
not so good feelings they have for you, you will argue. You will have a communication, you will message, you will talk again, but it will end up to an argument. And then after that, they will be fine. Things are gonna move on. Like as soon as they air their side towards you, um, as soon as they air, that's why if, if once this person message you, calls your text, you Sagittarius, listen to them first. It's more of they initiated the contact, they've got something to say, listen to them, they will air their side. And after that, they will be able to move on. And then you can say your peace, you know. So, yes, they will. But it could lead up to an argument. And then the last rating is that if you are a Sagittarius who is dealing with a fellow fire sign, you've got here three of swords um, in upright position, the queen of wands, the queen of swords. Okay, so... You could be de dealing with a third party Sagittarius, but I really feel like um, there's a lot of pretending energy. If you are dealing with a fellow um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they are pretending like th the way this, there's three storyline I'm getting in here. Okay. There's a third party. There, there's a third party and the third party or the it, it, it's their fault okay what i'm getting in here is that it's their fault they were the third party or they cause you pain they cause you headache they cause you third party and um they believe that they could be forgiven you know once they will they will collect you they will they'll definitely reach out okay and um the way they reach out the the way this person talks to you approach you calls you reach out is that they believe that they could be forgiven that they are entitled you know they have a feeling that um you will fall or you're still in love or because they do not feel the pain you know this three of swords this is um they were the one who caused this to you they don't feel the exact pain because it was them who caused that so the way they come back it's a bit um hypocrite like um entitled and um they're they're kind of belittling your feelings um in the sense that you know what is it that i do that you can't be i can't be forgiven or you know come on come on sagittarius and um be open-minded you know liberate yourself you know it's it's 2021 you have for you haven't forgotten or forgiven me come on queen of wands so they will convince you they will make you feel like let go of that pain or hurt it is they don't acknowledge that you might not be ready they're actually quite sarcastic and a bit of a um hmm. i don't like their energy because you know the queen of swords is here so you'll tell, you'll shut them off like you definitely give this person some sort of a message or a reply a respond that would change them because after that they will be shocked of your reply your respond because they're confident look at them queen of wands they're very confident on the way they talk to you the way they could come back in your life and then they try they try and they joke at you for some of you guys they kind of play with your feelings they joke at you i mean they don't take this seriously three of swords you know they were the one who caused this and it give it has given you a lot of headache um sleepless night and yet this person came back out of the door you know really friend they're so social you know they're so active you know as if nothing happens and they don't even respect that you might still be hurt and they're joking and yeah it's something not nice about this person but i see you you will give them a good reply a good respond you will outsmart them to be honest because from queen of wands from queen of wands they become the queen of swords you know they will retreat and very they will retreat and the way they retreat or back off or you know step back is they're gonna be a little bit embarrassed because they were inconsiderate of your feelings okay and then they will switch to the uh, queen of swords um energy where um you know they're gonna tell you know gonna they're gonna ask for an apology and they're gonna actually say not goodbye but more of i'm open for you and us to talk i'm sorry if i was so forward or so playful that you you they felt like you misunderstood them but there is a learning there's a huge learning about the i like the way you handle it to be honest so 
I'm gonna leave it with you. I feel like this is gonna happen around the month of March. This is the first person that you've, you know, kind of fall in love with them and they know that you're head over heels in love with them. That's why they're acting this way. Very confident that they could get you back anything they want, but you've shut them off. There's something with your reply, respond. Or maybe this is the reason why you're gonna have this reading. But this is you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. I hope you like the reading. If you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. And I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.